What's up, guys? Jared and I are here. Quick discussion. We just uploaded the most interesting, intricate, time-consuming podcast episode that I've ever worked on. It's essentially a combination of two different scenes. One's in the studio. One is on the balcony. If you go watch it now on YouTube or on Spotify, you'll know what I'm talking about. You'll be able to see it going back and forth between some different scenes, but having the same conversation flow throughout the entire thing. So it was pretty interesting to work on. Um, I did it twice. Yeah. Because the first one erased. Somehow. Three hours for the first one erased. Three hours for the second one. Jared almost destroyed it for a second time. The first fault, the first one was my fault. The second one was almost Jared's fault, but he miraculously recovered it. So my heart is slowing down now, but it's okay. That's why I make, uh, I think command Z, you know, to undo everything. But it was amazing. We, we had what we filmed over clearly at least an hour, maybe an hour, 30 minutes of content. And Alex so graciously put it into about a one hour video. Exactly. Almost three times. Um, I was so turned on the first two times. I wanted to do it the third time. <laughs> you know, learning. It was uh, quite the experience, for sure. Funny episode. Uh, very. It was actually really educational. Yeah. Really informative, but also very funny. What's great is when you combine the two episodes together into one, there's more opportunity to have the funny moments, and there's more education as well because – the first run through, you don't remember everything. You don't bring up everything. And then you add it to the second one. You're basically combining all that data together to make sure you did cover everything. And we covered quite a lot, actually. It might be our most informative episode, which it wasn't even the intention in the first place. It might be the funniest one ever. And we have different scenes. It's not just the studio. It's not yeah. just about cigars. It's definitely the most interesting, the most engaging. Um, I don't know if it's the funniest. Matt Booth might still hold that title. But it's definitely up there. I would say top three. In fact, either Matt is really funny, actually. Which Matt? Sally City Matt. True. Matt Booth Matt. Matt, whoever the third Matt is, yeah. uh, please come forward. You can join us. But, um, yeah, we're right now waiting to host another episode of The Rob Crocker Show, only on YouTube, um, live on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Of course, you can watch after. Uh, audience can engage via comments. But it's uh, current events related, but adding some other stuff, different stories and anecdotes um, featuring myself and Jared, Rob Crocker, the official host, and right now, uh, Don Miller from The Don Miller Show has been joining us for the past few episodes. So great conversation. Um, some funny moments as well, but that's basically what we're doing. We're just waiting for them to show up. Actually, waiting for a uh, missing equipment too. And we are hosting as well, uh, for the time being, the Don Miller show as well here in the studio. So we've got three shows coming out of this studio as we speak. That's pretty exciting. I mean, 2024 is skyrocketing into 2025, full, full speed, full train ahead. So, I mean, I'm really excited. Exactly. I think 2025 is going to be a good year, a recovery year. You know, a lot of things are going to happen. Hopefully good things. I think good things. I see 2025 becoming a really good year. Um, almost like 2016, if you might say. You know, that kind of uh, change for the next four years. You know, you know, it kind of goes to four-year increments, you know? Oh, it's a permanent change. Permanent, huh? I do like permanent goodness, actually, you know? It's not something we have. It's not something we can only wish for. Uh, but that would be nice. We're um, still doing vent, uh, events with Base of Cigars. Um, it's been kind of a slow season. We've still stayed busy, but it's been rather slow. It's going to pick back up again now in the fall and probably in the wintertime as well, so... We'll be active with events. Be on the lookout for those at Base of Cigar, at the Cigar Guys, 1102 Cigars. We're always updating you as best we can. And more importantly, always pushing out great content for you guys, at least in my opinion. I don't know about yours. We've gotten great feedback for the past 
year and a half, almost two years now since we've done the podcast. It's kind of crazy how time flies, actually. It's been over two years since we started on TikTok. <clears throat> so, pretty exciting stuff. Um, I'm drinking some McAllen 12 year sherry oak. Not one of Jared's favorites, so I think he's going to pass the I think time. you combined the names out. I thought sherry cask for a double cask. Sherry oak cast. Double oak cast? Yeah, that's a sweeter one, I think. Double oak? No, sherry. Sherry. Sherry's definitely the sweeter one. Single barrel or single cast? Eh. I think I dated a sherry once. Yeah, <laughs> definitely sweeter. I, yeah, I agree. And, uh... Belvini, however... Another story. The double barrel, the 12-year double, double oak barrel is good. But I think the Caribbean cast, the 14 here, is really good. But would you say which one would you say you like more? The 14 year for sure. Caribbean cask. Now 14 compared to this. Oh, uh, it's tough because that's sherry. I like the double cask from McCallum 12, so. Okay. And then skip McCallum 15 and go right to 18. True. Which is smoother and sweeter. Which is Definitely superior, by far. It's more, I would say it's closer to a whiskey. But with the smoothness of it being a lighter scotch. I didn't ask, what are you smoking? Going back to an old time favorite here, an Aganorsa Leaf Maduro, I believe. Aganorsa Leaf, also a good podcast that we did, I don't even remember, it was a while ago, I think last year. Uh, we had... Fabian and Jeff on. What did we do? We did the we did the, the tasting of the binder wrapper and filler individually. Yeah, each leaf. So they have it, they call it a fuma, which is the one leaf, whether it's the binder or the filler that they're using, um, rolled up and you taste it individually. And what the blenders will do is taste these different leaves and try to combine them into one cigar for the flavor profile that they're searching for. That was a good episode. Jeff and Fabian, both really cool people, funny, uh, informative as well. So that was a good episode. Look up um, Validating Agonors the Leaf on the Cigar Guys podcast. But, I mean, year one was great. Year two, it's hard. To, I mean, it's definitely better. Year two is definitely a better year. But they're both such great years, I feel like. I mean, we had great guests. I think the only difference is really the quality this year has been very consistent as opposed to the first year. The first year was an uphill battle. Yeah. Not so good to great. Now it's been consistently great. I think 4K for most of the year. I think you have better software and hardware, uh, definitely better tools for editing, more guests for sure this year. Um, oh, Mark's here. I'm going to go open the door. Yeah.